On October 2nd, our very own Daniel Claussen got accepted into All Suburban Choir. Today, we talked to him and Miss Harry about the events leading up to this momentous achievement and what the future looks like for him. Um, oh, I've always loved music and just singing in general. And when I first started like in like choir programs, it was back in um, elementary school years. So I'd say probably around third grade is when I actually, you know, joined, you know, any kind of choir venture. So um, that was really what sort of started all of this. And then moving forward, I just really loved, you know, performing for people and just singing in general. Just music in general has a lot of emotion behind it. And then singing kind of personalizes that because that's your voice. Like you can put instruments to whatever you want. Like, and I do that often, but when you sing with it, that's your voice, that's your, you know, emotion behind it. That's, you know, and then especially when it's um, music with lyrics that like really have some meaning behind them. Um, it, it, it really personalizes that and really makes it have a lot of deeper meaning and a lot of just good feelings behind it. Um, a few things. Uh, <laughs> I didn't actually get the music for it until about a week prior. Um, so I didn't have very long to practice. But it was actually a song that I had done before, um, in fact, two years before, the exact same song. So I had a little bit of experience with it prior. But um, really, it's about repetition. And it's just sort of, you have to really feel the music. Like, it's, it's hard to explain, really, but you just have to, once you listen to it, see, what I do is I just listen to it over and over in my head. And that combined with studying it on the page and really understanding the lyrics, it really helps out to you know, memorize, especially in a short period of time like I had. Pr pretty shocked. <laughs> I mean, it has been, I did take a small break from choir over these past two years because, you know, COVID and everything. Um, but it was, um, you know, I was somewhat surprised, a little bit not, because, you know, I've been accepted prior um, in other circumstances. But I'm just very happy and very excited to, you know, be performing again. I screamed <laughs> because I also got a second email. When you get the second email, you, as a director, you already know that they qualified for um, Allstate to audition for Allstate. So I saw two emails there and I was really excited about that. So um, I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. I'm like, oh my gosh, you, you know, you made Allstate. And I was like, oh, back up, Mrs. Harry, back up. <laughs> he has to audition for Allstate first before he can make Allstate choir. Mm -hmm. But he's for sure, of course, he made all suburban choir with his scores. So he's, but again, still in the top 5% uh, of all of the tenors that, cause he's a tenor, all the tenors that auditioned. A lot of uh, props goes to Miss Harry because she is a very excellent choir teacher and um, she deserves like a, a lot of praise for this because without her I wouldn't have been able to practice this as well as I did. She gave me a lot of time and a lot of resources to help out with that. I, I really don't want to take any credit. You know, Daniel is very talented. He's a very talented individual. Um, Daniel is a very good sight reader which is the ability to look at music and not have to hear it previously. He can look at it and you know, read the line and not need to have heard what it sounds like beforehand. There's of course the previous choir teacher, uh, Mr. Heinrich, who um, definitely helped out a lot with just my confidence in singing. Without him, I wouldn't be where I am today. And then of course, the support of my friends. I have a wonderful circle of great friends who support me with everything that I do. And I very much love and care about each and every one of them. Um, well, I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of figuring that out every day. Music-wise, um, I do publish on my own. I, I have a few um, uh, music projects I have on the side, and I own um, a record label with two of my other friends. Uh, it's called Melancholic Night. Um, Singing-wise, just try to. I'm going to try to do more choir-related stuff in the future. Maybe something in college, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I definitely want to go to Europe again. I did go to Europe previously. Um, for a um, choir venture for the um, Missouri Ambassadors of Music, I believe the organization was called. So um, something along those lines in the future again would be fantastic. His audition is next Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, November 6th. That's the day that we have a festival, which is uh, All Suburban Festival. So he will audition the morning of um, the day of festival. So we'll find out Sunday afternoon if he makes Allstate or not. 
Um, that's first with Dan. And then next semester is Solo and Ensemble Festival. And uh, Daniel is definitely going to take a solo to um, Solo and Ensemble Festival. That occurs in March. So that's what's next for Dan.